Hi guys, welcome back on Will EduTech. In this video, we'll be looking at a CSEC math exam pass paper question, January 2012, question 3B. Usually on the syllabus, you will find this question uh, under the geometry section, and but to be more specific, it's a construction question. Now it states, using a, a pair of compasses, a ruler, and a, and a pencil, part A, construct a triangle, CDE, in which DE is equal to 10 centimeters, DC is equal to 8 centimeters, and the angle CDE is equal to 45 degrees. And that's an easy four marks. Now, basically, whenever given a construction question, one of the instructions that I usually uh, give to my students is that always try to do a rough sketch of the diagram, just in case after you have carried out your actual construction, uh, if the if there if your end product doesn't look like uh, your sketch, then you know something maybe would have gone wrong. All right. So this is just just do a sketch as a guide. Now let's look at it. First thing you want to construct. Now let me just explain the sketch to you. First thing you'd want to construct is your line segment DE. That's the first piece of information here, and that's 10 centimeters. Now if you notice, I just draw a line DE and I label it 10 centimeters. You so after draw it with your rule, you would measure 10 centimeters and label that line segment DE. Now, if you notice, they gave us another piece of information. DC is equal to 8 centimeters. Now, my DC here is 8 centimeters, but first, before I can draw DC, I have to take in mind this piece of information. The angle CDE is equal to 45 degrees. All right? Now, what is happening? Remember now, anytime you're given an angle, to draw or identify the letter that is in the middle and I've underlined the D in the middle there. Uh, any, any letter that's in the middle, that's where the angle is being formed. So the angle, the 45 degree angle is being formed at the point D. Hence, if I should go over to my diagram here now, you notice at the point D here, uh, my angle 45 degree is being formed. Now, after you you after you have constructed that angle, then you measure from D up eight centimeters, and at the end, at eight centimeters up here, you would label that point C. And simply from there on, you just use your rule and connect C to E. Okay, my friends. Now, in the next piece of information, they're asking us to construct a line CF perpendicular to DE such that. F lies on DE, and that's an easy two marks. Now, basically, you know that to explain a perpendicularity, a two or more lines are perpendicular if they meet at an angle of 90 degrees. And up here, I did a sketch where this vertical line meet this horizontal line at an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, so basically, what they want us to do is to construct a line segment from the point C and coming down, and it should cut or pass through DE at an angle of 90 degree and where it intersect or where it meet the line segment DE we're gonna call that point F alright after which they're asking us to use, in a, use a protractor and measure and state the size of the angle DCE and if you notice C is in the middle so at the point C that's where the angle is being formed hence in red I have color coded my angle here at C okay so that's the angle we're gonna measure now quickly let's get into it uh, we're gonna switch board now and let it get more a bit more interesting alright first I'm going to need my rule so let's pull up my rule here and I'm going to draw my line segment quickly now I need a beautiful color now let's draw a line segment uh, DE and I'm, as I've stated I'm going to be using construction lines so let's just draw a long line there so that's pretty much it now that's out of the way let, let me just measure off I'm just going to simply measure off at 10 cm now if you notice what I'm doing I'm not st starting at the end of this line here because if you notice at the point D we have a 45 degree angle so I'm just gonna do something now I explain a little later alright my friends now what I'm gonna be doing I'm just going to be marking these points um, from 0 which is that point there so that's my zero so and I'm going up to 10 okay so that point there my friends all right so that's my zero to 10 now let's just take this out of the way so let's label our line segment D E okay so that's D E so that's my line segment D E now we need to construct a 45 degree angle at the point D and we can just go back to the previous page where we can look at that if you notice the angle at D is a 45 degree okay so that's what we're going to be constructing now let's just quickly switch back across now basically I'm just going to get my compass and I'm going to place my compass at the point D 
at this point here D and I'm just simply going to open up my compass to a comfortable radius and this was the reason why I have extended the line out to my left okay so that I can construct my 90 degree angle more comfortably okay so place it at D and now we're going to swing an arc let me just use red let me change the color to a red to suggest my construction lines so I've swung an arc there so that's pretty that's pretty good now basically I'm going to take up my protract I'm going to take up my compass my friends let me just move it a bit and and to make this a bit more clearer what I'm gonna do I'm going to label this point um, Q let me label that Q and I'm going to label this point R okay just to make it a bit more uh, so that you can see it when I'm speaking about points now if you notice QR the line segment from Q to R this is the length of a line segment okay so what I'm doing to construct a 90 degree angle at the point D I am going to bisect the line segment QR okay by placing my compass point at the point and let me change the color again for my construction lines let me use green so to bisect QR I'm going to place my compass point at the point Q and I'm just going to swing an arc around this side okay I'm just but first I must open up my compass to more than half the length of that line okay so that's pretty much it and I'm just going to swing an arc around this side so let's just do that now so I've swung an arc around that side then I'm going to take it up and I'm going to place it at R okay the point R there let me just capture that carefully and then I'm just going to swing an arc that cut that arc that I've just swung initially so basically what I'm doing from here my friends I'm just simply going to draw a line segment through from D through the intersection and that will be my 90 degree angle good so all I'm doing from this point in is to draw a line from Q straight through that point okay my friends and that's my 90 degree angle so that's pretty much it now I have a 90 degree angle here but remember I need a 45 so I need to bisect my 90 to get 45 what do I mean by bisect I'm going to cut my 90 degree angle into two equal parts okay just as how I've cut the 180 degree and and I think you should be seeing that that R to Q it's a straight line so that's a 180 we have just bisected earlier to get the 90 meaning I've cut 180 degree into two equal parts to get a 90 so now I must divide 90 into two equal parts again to get 45 degree okay that's all I'm doing all right my friends so let's just take our compass again and I'm going to place it at the point Q but before that let me just label this point up here so that you can uh, see what I'm talking about I'm just going to label this intersection here let me give it a name I'm going to call it the point T okay so let's call it the point T now basically I need to cut the the angle this angle here into two equal parts by set this 90 so I'm going to place my compass point at the point at the point T and I'm going to swing an arc okay my friends I'm just going to swing an arc like that and then I'm going to take it up again and I'm going to place it at the point Q okay and I'm going to swing another arc okay my friends let's just take this around a bit and I'm going to swing an arc that cut that arc there okay now where the two red arcs intersect now that is my 45 degree angle so let's just draw a line through that point so all I'm doing now my friends is from the point D I'm going to draw a line segment using my ruler of course straight through the intersection of the two red arcs there and that's my 45 degree angle okay that's it so that's my 45 degree angle okay now basically I'm just going to take up my rule and I'm going to measure off 8 centimeters because remember they had told us let me just get this up a bit good now if I should switch screen switch back across remember from D to C they gave us that angle to be to be it's sorry that line segment DC rather is eight centimeters okay so we have to measure with our ruler now that eight centimeters and mark our angle 45 degrees so just let's quickly go back across now my let me just let me just change the color a bit now I starting at zero and I'm going straight up to eight so it would take us somewhere right there okay hope you're seeing that now basically this is my point C so I'm just going to label that point my point C all right so this is the point C oops that's ugly that's ugly this is the point C now let's just get our instruments out of the way 
So now my friends, let's just quickly put in our measurements. From D to E initially, we had 10 centimeters. So let's let's label this our 10 centimeters. From D to C, we had an 8 centimeters. Okay, that's 8 centimeters. And our angle here that we have just constructed, and I'm just going to mark it like that. This is a 45 degree angle. Okay. I say 45 degree angle. Now, basically, what you're doing now, since we have measured our 8 centimeters, measured our 10 centimeters DE, all you're doing now is to use a line segment and you're going to just simply connect C to E. All right? So, my friends, you should use a ruler. I have some neat tools here so I can use them. But please use your ruler and pencil. Draw a line segment out from C to E that connects it there. And there we have our triangle DCE. Now we need to construct, our, all right, let's go back over to the board so that we can keep abreast with the question what is happening. Now if you notice, we have our triangle now DCE. We have, our, we have all the measurements DC 8 centimeters, DE 10 centimeters, and our angle 45 degrees. So now what we need to do is to construct our CF, that perpendicular line. So let's quickly get into that. And you could always pause the video and look at what is happening, all right? Now Let's go back to our board. Now here in constructing a line segment perpendicular to DE, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be taking our compass. So let's take my compass. I'm going to place it at the point C. Okay, my friends, I'm going to place it at the point C. I'm going to open my compass to a given radius. All right, so I'm going to open it. It needs to open up a bit more. What you need to do, open it up so that you can cut the line segment DE at two different two different places. Okay, my friends. So I'm just opening it up a little bit. I'm going to use red. I'm going to continue using red as my construction lines. So what I'm doing here now, I'm cutting the line segment DE at that point, and I'm going to simply cut it again at that point over there. Okay. So that is my objective. I've cut the line segment DE into two different places. So let's just label the two different places that I've cut it again. Let's just shift this back a bit. Let me just change my color. Now this point here that I've cut the line segment, we're going to call that point K. Okay. Let's call that point K and I'm going to call this other point now M. Okay. And I'm, I'm just giving it these uh, letters so that when I'm speaking, you can follow me a little bit more clearer. Okay. So basically, my friends, I could just show you a little trick. The reason why the concept behind um, cutting the line segment D E. Okay, my friends, is because um, basically what we have just did, and let me just show you. I'm going to erase it in a while. I just want to show you uh, um, what has happened. Basically, what we did we was to construct a isosceles and isosceles triangle right there. Okay, so basically what we're looking for now is a perpendicular bisector of that isosceles triangle there now that cut this line segment K to M into two equal parts. So that's just the whole idea behind it. All right, let me just take take out those two lines and continue. So now basically um, what we're doing now, we're bisecting the line segment KM. All right. So let's put it at M. Now simply my friends, I'm just going to place my compass point at the point M and let me just change my color quickly to my red, my construction lines. And I'm just going to simply swing an arc. Oops, my bad. I'm just simply going to swing an arc at the top there in the triangle and then I'm going to shift my compass point okay and I'm going to place it at the point K here okay where the arc cut the line segment DE and I'm just going to swing another arc let me just take this around first so I'm just going to swing another arc that cut that arc there okay so now we're through with that so I can rest that aside so basically what I'm going to be doing using my rule using your rule uh, we're just going to draw a line segment from the point C straight through the intersection of the arcs so let's quickly get into that I'm going to use a nice color okay a yellow so from your point C right there, we're just going to draw a straight line through that point and where it intersect. Okay. Uh, the line segment DE right here, we have an 90, we have a 90 degree angle being formed. And let me just mark it off for you quickly. So this angle there, that's a 90 degree angle. And this point here, we're calling this point F. Okay. Let me use another color to highlight my F. All right. So this point here, I'm calling it the point 
F. That's what they said, where F lie on the line segment DE. So this is our 90 degree angle. Let me just mark it again for you. This is a 90 degree angle. So it simply means that CF is perpendicular to DE. Okay, my friends. Now quickly. Now what I did, I use construction lines to construct my diagram. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly brighten up my triangle. Okay, so my triangle looks uh, pretty much distinguished. All right. Yes, yeah, so that's it, my friends. And now, in the last part, they're asking us, and we could always go back to the question. In the last part, they're asking us to use a protractor, measure and state the size of the angle DCE. Okay, and that's a one mark. And we could always go back to our board and identify that angle. This is the angle DCE. So, this angle here, they're asking us to measure with our protractor. So, let's just quickly get that out of the way. All right, let's pull up our protractor. So this is my protractor. Now to measure that angle, basically what I'll be doing, I'm going to place my protractor, the zero line. Let me just get this quickly. If you notice the point C at the point C, I'm going to place my the point of my protractor here. OK, and I hope you're seeing that the point of my protractor there on the point C. OK, I'm going to ensure that the zero line, this reference line here, at the base okay is sitting on that line also so let's just pull that around a bit pull that around a bit okay good now if I'm measuring this angle here guys then it simply means the zero that is sitting on this line okay that's the reading I'm gonna use if you notice it's a zero on the inside right here so I must read from this point from this line segment DC and I'm coming around to the line segment CE okay let me just pull up my screen a bit so you can see what's happening a bit more clearer okay so that is it so at zero here I'm starting from and I'm coming up 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and if you notice here it passes through the point this is 80 so this would be 80 182 roughly 83.5 okay 84 so that would be approximately 84 degrees all right so we can then state then that we can now state that our angle let's just get that quickly so as we have measured our angle dce is equal to 84 degrees okay and that's pretty much it